Hey guys, welcome to Sunday School. We miss you, we miss seeing you here, but we're gonna have virtual class today. So I invite all of you to come and sit on the rug like you normally do, and we're gonna get started with our story. Hello guys, we do miss you all. The name of our story today is The Master Serves. The Bible verse that you can look up when you get a chance in your Bible is from Philippians 2, 4. Not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. So just a little activity to start out before Miss Kayla reads your story. What are some ways that people can serve each other? So think about that. There's different ways. When we think about serving, we could say waiters serve food, volleyball players serve a ball, some people serve in the military. But we're gonna talk about serving in a way that you would help someone else. So be thinking about that through this story about how you could serve someone else serve someone in your family or someone at church or someone at the grocery store and something you might be able to do as an activity at the end uh, on your own there is take out a piece of paper and draw a picture uh, of a way that you could serve someone else so that's something like what we would do here so um, so you do that um, today in our Bible study some guys had really dirty shoes and since the shoes were sandals, their feet were really dirty too. We'll hear what someone did to those dirty feet. So you're going to be looking in John 13 is where the story's gonna come from. All right, Miss Kayla. All right, guys, let's listen and see what we can learn from our story today. Jesus had been with his friends for three years. He had lived with them, laughed with them, and taught them many things. He had shown them what God is like, and Jesus had also told, told his friends that one reason he came to earth was to die. Soon it would be time for this to happen, and Jesus was going to show everyone on earth how much he loves us. It was Passover week, a time for special meals and celebrations. Jesus' friends had come to a room in the city to eat a special meal. But when they came in, no one was there to wash their feet. Usually a servant did this. Washing feet was a dirty job that no one wanted to do. In those days, the streets were very dirty and walking on the streets made people's feet really dirty too. Washing feet was work for only the lowest of the servants. And none of Jesus' disciples wanted to do that job. So Jesus' disciples came to a special dinner table. They had blessings and started eating, even with stinky, dirty feet. In the middle of the meal, Jesus got up from the table and he took off his outer clothes and wrapped a towel around his waist. Now he looked like the lowest servant, and his disciples probably didn't know what to say. Maybe they were even a little embarrassed. Jesus filled a basin with water and he knelt down in front of one of his disciples and washed his feet and then he dried them with a towel. Jesus knelt before Peter and Peter said, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Yes, Jesus said. You don't understand now, but later you will. Peter said, you'll never wash my feet. And he seemed to think that Jesus was too important to wash his feet. Jesus gently replied, unless I wash your feet, you don't have any part with me. Peter said, the Lord wash my hand, my head and my hands too, and may, maybe Jesus smiled. So from the Bible in John 13, 10, it says, Jesus said to them, the one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean and you are clean, but not every one of you. Jesus finished washing every pair of feet, even the feet of Judas Iscariot. Soon Judas walked out the door and he would go and bring soldiers to arrest Jesus, but Jesus still loved Judas. Then Jesus put his outer clothes back on and he came back to his place at the table and asked his friends, do you understand what I have done for you? Jesus' friends probably looked at one another blankly. Did they understand? No. Jesus said, you call me teacher and Lord and you're right to call me that. 
But now, I, your teacher and your Lord, have washed your feet. If your teacher and Lord can serve you, then you can and should also be willing to serve one another. Jesus had more to say. John 13, 15 through 16 says, For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Jesus wanted to make it clear that none of them were too good to serve one another, and he wanted to make sure that there was no one among his disciples who thought he was too important or busy to do the most simple, humble task to help another person. Jesus said, Now that you know these things, you'll be blessed if you do them. No one of Jesus's, not one of Jesus' friends is too good to love, serve, and help others. So just to wrap things up, Sometimes we might think we're smarter or better or more important than another person, but Jesus showed his disciples that no one who follows Jesus is too important to show his love and help and serve others. Jesus showed us and told us that if he can do it, we can do it too. Serving others is a part of following him. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to have a prayer just like we normally do at the end of class. Um, I'll mention um, Landon's memo is normally one that we pray for and Juliet's pop pop. So I ask you to keep them in mind and keep the situation that's going on in the world. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. So let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the beautiful sunshine that you've sent our way. I thank you for this time we have to um, study your word together. And I pray for all of these kids. We miss seeing their faces, Lord. But but we're excited to get to do this and have virtual class with them. I pray that you will bring us back together very soon, um, Lord, and be with all of those that are sick, Lord, and help them to feel better soon. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys. See you soon.